Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the uh, another series of reads and this reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So let's see Gemini's. If you are dealing with a specific someone and you really want to know what is going to be the future of this connection, then this reading is definitely going to help you find the answer to that. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading plus we will also be adding some... Um, uh, you know information cards about how uh, how your person do uh, look or what are the nature uh, what is the nature or the feature of the person as well so stay tuned and now uh, before I dive into the read let me remind you it is a general reading if many can not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box you can also check out the other services that I offer as well in the description box so let's see, Gemini's, what is going to be the future of this connection? Whatever connection that you have with your person, let's tap into the read and let's find out what is going to be the future of this connection that you have with your person. King of Swords, the Judgment, the Hierophant, Seven of Swords. Somebody really has to basically uh, make amends. Uh, in this connection it can be you it can be them uh, I feel like you know the the situation seems at a uh, standstill right now between the two of you somebody did wrong some somewhere in this connection it can be you who might have done wrong to your person or it can be them who might have done wrong in this connection there could be some karmic ties that needs to be uh, breaking free from uh, maybe it's uh, your energy or it can be your person's energy as well I feel like you know there is a um, uh, you really have to know one thing here. Somebody has to change themselves. Um, somebody has to be nice. Somebody has to be uh, kind and generous. Um, I feel like, you know, there has been a lot of negativity in this connection uh, that you have with your person. Um, now, again, it, it you know, the, the energy that I'm picking up is, uh, is the energy of the connection. So it seems like, you know, there is either one of you... Um, who might have done worse in this connection who might have basically um this connection could have been one side let me put it this way because i feel like you know um the hopes the wishes were definitely very high around this connection but it didn't turn out to be the way it uh it was assumed to turn out by uh by you or by your person um there's a lot of negativity like you know maybe you both expected something different from each other but then you failed to uh, match or you know um match the expectation of the other person i feel like him you, you it seems like you know you and that person doesn't doesn't uh gel along well on emotional level is what i'm picking up you expect something else they are not into you know uh the whole connection the way you are so there is the i feel like you know there is karmic ties uh you know that needs to be uh dealt with before this connection could change or become what you want it to become now for some of you you might be checking it for an ex of yours and if that's the case trust me you and that ex of yours is going to come back together after they have learned the karmic lesson or you have learned the karmic lesson somebody has to learn a karmic lesson before you could come together in this connection until and unless that is done it's not gonna happen i feel like you know there are some uh, you know somebody really needs to make some uh, you know uh make up for the things that they did wrong in this connection now again it can be you it can be them and if you believe that it's your person's energy i feel like you know they must be uh going through something tough already if not then they have to go through something uh you know um which is going to make them learn the lesson before they could give into the connection with you so for ma majority of you maybe you you and your person are definitely having issues is what i'm picking up in this connection it seems like you know it's a one-sided connection for now but once it's broken once the person has moved on either you or the person that you are dealing with they are going to understand the worth of this connection and they will make amends then so i do see a breakup coming in in the near future and then a reconciliation um would that reconciliation last or would would it be just a you know a a, a patch up or, or a catch up uh, where you're just gonna apologize to each other and then move on with your individual you know uh, separate paths but I feel like, you know, this, there is definitely an ending coming up in this connection for the two of you. Because there is some karmic lessons that needs to be learned by either one of you. Let's see what is the nature or the feature of this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. <clears throat> it 
if if you are dealing in a situation like this where your person has already moved on don't hold yourself back from getting into a new connection because it's more like you are wasting your time because for some of you maybe even if the person comes back they are just going to apologize to you for what they did wrong they will not be in that position where they could give you anything stable so make sure you are not doing that mistake there let me see what is the nature or the feature of the person um Women who is bold, attractive, colored hair, sunny nature, uplifting, and caring. It can be you, it can be them as well. Um, man of high morals, self-defensive, and power and authority. So this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, could be one of those. It can be your energy as well. But yeah, let's see more cards here. Let's see what else is happening in this connection for the two of you. For some of you, you are with this person for, for your own karmic lesson as well. Maybe you have to move on from this person and uh, maybe go back to another person from the past as well for some of you. Let's see more cards here. Um, for some of you, uh, I feel like, you know, uh, either one of you is in a karmic situation right now and that person could be either married to another person. It can be you, it can be them. And I feel like, you know, they really want to break free from this connection, but maybe they have children involved in the situation. Again, it can be a, a situation for some of you as well. Um, generous, stylish, gracious, and practical. It can be you, it can be them as well. I feel like you know, it's very important for you to proceed with what you feel like going for. Like, you know, whatever that adds stability to your life, make sure you take those actions. Um, maybe, maybe you are yet to meet the one that you are designed to be with. For majority of you, I feel like, you know, this person and your situation with the, with this connection could be karmic. I feel like, you know, this is a karmic connection for majority of you. Um, or either one of you is definitely in a karmic situation. It's going to be different for different, uh, people out there, but let's take one last card from this deck. Um, There is a lot of restlessness in the situation that you're having with your person. Again, maybe, again, I feel like, you know, you are in no communication and you are checking it for you, for an ex of yours or somebody that you have broken up with. Um, there is a lot of poor timing in the situation, in your connection. I feel like, you know, your timing is always off in this connection uh, with your person. But again, it seems like, you know, maybe it's never meant to happen. It's just that uh, maybe you need to move on. Um, for majority of you, uh, let's see some oracle guidance around it. Let's see what it has to add. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Pisces as well, or uh, somebody who has a Pisces in their chart, very strong, you know, at a very strong position. Uh, you are good enough. I feel like you, know, you really have to move on. This could be a karmic connection. Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. I feel like, you know, as you move on with your life, you are going to more, you know, the more you spend more time in this situation, the more you're going to understand that maybe it's high time that you move on. I, for majority of you, believe that this is a karmic connection that you are in right now. But yes, for some of you, you might be in a karmic situation. And as soon as you break free from it, you are going to meet the one. So that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it helped you, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.